The Heart Center at Nationwide Children's is dedicated to the unique needs of patients with hypoplastic left heart syndrome and other forms of single ventricle heart defects. The heart is an efficient muscular pump. A normal heart is composed of four chambers, the right atrium, right ventricle, left atrium, and left ventricle. Deoxygenated blood, shown as blue, returns from the body into the right atrium. Next, blood moves into the right ventricle, which pumps it through the pulmonary artery to the lungs to be oxygenated. From the lungs, oxygenated blood, shown as red, returns to the heart into the left atrium through four pulmonary veins. It then enters the left ventricle, which pumps blood through the aorta to the rest of the body. In the womb, the fetus receives oxygen from the placenta so blood can bypass the lungs. Blood bypasses the lungs in two ways. One way is through an opening in the wall between the right and left atria, called the foramen ovale. The other way is through a connection between the aorta and pulmonary artery, called the ductus arteriosus. Normally, these openings close a day or two after birth because increased blood pressure in the left atrium causes the foramen ovale to close. And the presence of oxygen causes the ductus arteriosus to close. Hypoplastic left heart syndrome occurs when the left side of the heart does not form normally. The result is that the structures of the left side of the heart, including the aorta, aortic valve, left ventricle, mitral valve, and left atrium are very small or hypoplastic. As a result, the left side of the heart can't pump blood to the body properly. However, oxygen-rich blood returning from the lungs can bypass the hypoplastic left heart by passing through the foramen ovale, which has remained open, into the right atrium. There, oxygen-rich blood mixes with oxygen-poor blood returning from the body. Then, the blood passes to the right ventricle and is pumped through the pulmonary artery to the lungs, as well as across the still open ductus arteriosus to the body. If a hypoplastic left heart is left untreated, the foramen ovale or ductus arteriosus or both will close as they normally do after birth. As a result, blood flow to the body is not only low, but is also oxygen poor, endangering the baby's life. A series of operations as well as medications are necessary to save the baby's life. The operations include the hybrid stage one, comprehensive stage two, and Fontan completion all of which are shown in their entirety in other videos. Our single ventricle team at Nationwide Children's is dedicated to supporting your child. We are available to answer all of your questions at any time at 614-722-2530 and at nationwidechildrens.org heart.